Okay, so somebody could feel like they're climbing a mountain. Um, they need to broaden their horizons. So someone is broadening their horizons, possibly by climbing a mountain or traveling or doing something that seems like impossible. Um, but they're going to try. Somebody could be getting a divorce. Getting married is in the reverse. And congratulations in the reverse. So it looks like there's some sort of separation or breaking of a contract um, because somebody was definitely not an astronaut. Um, yeah, somebody is definitely not out of this world. So somebody is not who they appeared to be. Somebody could have been being deceptive over who they were. Um, and somebody is opening their mind. Um, it's like they want to climb to the top of a mountain. So someone is almost feeling like invincible. They want to learn more. They want to do more. Someone may want to just be a better person altogether. Um, but it looks like there was a separation, a divorce, or there's going to be one um, with a karmic relationship. So let's see what is going on here. Okay, so we have going to bed and having a sword fight. So um, it looks like there could be a couple that's going to bed angry. There could be some marital issues in a situation. Somebody is trying to clean up a mess. Um, someone was like, I don't know, I'm getting like cracking the knuckles, cracking their knuckles. Um, and a message, owl, broken leg, I'm packing a suitcase. So somebody could have gotten some sort of message that somebody was packing up and leaving. Um, and it's like somebody um, was cracking down their knuckles. Um, I don't know if they thought that leaving or, um, or separating from somebody would fix a situation, but I feel like it made a situation worse. And so I feel like somebody is cracking their knuckles, getting down to business, and they're just kind of sending a message like, hey, this is over. Um, this is too broken to fix. Um, come and get the rest of your shit kind of stuff. So let's get in here and see. So someone may feel like they've been hit by Cupid's arrow. Um, someone could be doing like a disappearing act. Um, somebody could have just told someone to go fly a kite because they're in love with somebody else, especially if there was some sort of separation. So if there was a marriage and there was some sort of legal separation. <clears throat> or um, maybe somebody moved out for a little while, but they didn't get all their stuff. Um, there's been a lot of fighting going on. So I have boxing, changing a diaper. Um, there could be kids involved. Um, someone is hunting for Easter eggs. So somebody is like looking for clues that you may be interested in them. Um, it's like, it's like the dude climbing up to the tree to see like what's going on and then hunting for Easter eggs. So somebody is hunting for like some sort of hint that you um, may have feelings for them. Alrighty. Why did the crusher quit his job? He was so depressed. So somebody is very depressed at this time, or whether it's a divine feminine, divine masculine, or a karmic energy. Someone is very depressed because fortune favors the brave. So someone is depressed. This could be a karmic energy that's depressed that fortune is not on their side. They feel like they lost a battle. I intend to live forever. So far, so good. In the reverse. So somebody may have thought that they were invincible and they were going to live forever, but they could be having some sort of health issues because the fortune, the wheel of fortune is not on their side at this time. I don't suffer insanity. I enjoy every minute of it. This person um, could be mentally um, unstable as well as what I'm getting. Coming up with a method, planning something. So someone who is mentally unstable, this is definitely a karmic energy. So you could have been married to this person. You could have been separated from this person. Um, or you are going through a separation with um, this karmic energy. 
Um, someone is definitely mentally unstable in a situation. That is very clear. There's a lot of fighting, a lot of conflict going on here. Um, let's pull a few tarot cards here. So he has, we have someone who, um, there's some sort of treasure. So someone could be viewing another person as a treasure. Someone could have a treasure, be a treasure. Um, there's some sort of treasure involved in a justice um, situation being balanced out. So some sort, some sort of justice has to be balanced out in a situation um, regarding something important. Um, that treasure could be anything of value to you. Um, or someone could be seeing you as valuable and wants to bring justice to a situation that was unfair in some way. Um, there's a high priestess in the reverse here. So there's definitely a dark karmic energy. Um, somebody who is doing things behind the scenes. Yeah, they do not have a positive outcome. They were not enlightened they didn't have a very important piece of information ace of wands this person was not woke um they were using magic or doing some sort of spell work um possibly with information there was some sort of manipulation or um misinformation or withholding some sort of information and then we have an emperor here in the upright And then we have a group family. There's a group here. Um, this could be family members, community members, um, friends, um, take it how it resonates, that are supporting an emperor at this time. Um, somebody was worried about securing their finances um, by using some sort of information to their advantage. I feel like somebody took some sort of information and used it to their advantage to try to secure their own financial stability and this is backfiring in a very big way. <clears throat> so somebody could have taken some sort of finances from an emperor or something. Maybe they drained the bank account or something. Ooh, shit. Yeah. There's a high priestess in the reverse here that went and drained somebody's bank account or something. Um, or used somebody's information fraudulently to take money that wasn't theirs. Um, and it could be involving an emperor because somebody got left out in the cold and they're not moving on to calmer waters. And then we have someone who's being creative and then we have the star. Somebody could be, um, very divine to have some sort of spiritual gifts or something. Um, they're like an artist. They're very creative. So we have the karmic high priestess in the reverse, an emperor and a star. And someone who has healed from some sort of heartbreak. So a star is healed from some sort of heartbreak. And they're going into their Ten of Pentacles. So Knight of Wands, someone's going to be happy, carefree. And somebody was acting very immature um, regarding some sort of information. Somebody definitely misused some sort of information. Somebody was reckless, very reckless. Yeah, somebody couldn't stop thinking about doing something or somebody. Um, <laughs> then we have a karmic relationship here. So um, there could have been there could be an emperor who's connected to some karmic um, knight of wands energy, or this dark high priestess in the reverse. They could have enlisted the help of a dark high priestess to help them with something or. Maybe this Knight of Wands was actually the High Priestess in the reverse. Maybe they practiced dark magic or something. Um, somebody had someone bound to a situation, was trying to keep them trapped. The Eight of Swords, or they made them feel like they were trapped. So there's some sort of karmic in this situation that was trying to make somebody else feel like they were bound or trapped in a situation. And they have a new start, a new beginning. There's Ace of Pentacles here. A new job, a new move, a new relationship. Um, something really big. It could be something of monetary value. It could be a home. It could be a vehicle. Um, it's just a brand new start. So the Ace of Pentacles is a really good card. And there's a karmic that is trying to keep somebody bound and trapped so that they do not have their Ace of Pentacles. But they're still moving towards it. They're still going to get it. And they're still... Someone's going from their Ace of Pentacles or Ten of Pentacles to their like Ace of Pentacles. 
and there was a karmic energy here who was trying to stop somebody from getting some sort of money, from stopping money from traveling towards this person or somebody. Honestly, I'm only really getting two energies. So, so I'm getting the high priestess energy is like the Knight of Wands energy. So she was like very reckless, a feminine energy. And then I have the Emperor and then the Star. So actually there's three energies going on here. Talk about a love triangle, huh? Um, let's... Let's get some emotions cards. Let's see if the Care Bears have anything to tell us. Mm-hmm. Somebody thinks that another person is lucky and they want to offer someone a cup of, not a cup of flowers, um, a bouquet of flowers or some sort of flowers. Someone views somebody as lucky and they want to offer them some sort of flowers. Um, somebody was not offered the flowers. Mm. Somebody was not, um, so somebody that was given an offer of flowers before was not somebody's wish fulfillment. They could be having trouble sleeping at night. Somebody planted some really bad seeds. This is like that dark high priestess in the reverse. Um, this was not somebody who, yeah, somebody was doing some spell work, the sparkles, the star. So this is like a star card in the reverse, doing some sort of spell work with the sprinkles and everything. Um, yeah. So somebody didn't get an offer that they wanted. Um, they didn't get the flowers they wanted, and they started doing some sort of spell work on somebody. Um, could be to affect their sleep, or they're not sleeping well. Um, I'm getting, like, love spell magic or something like that. Um, somebody is wanting someone to be with them, yeah. Somebody wanted some sort of love to come towards them, so someone was doing some sort of love spell work on somebody using dark magic. And they did not knock something out of the park. Whatever they did, it didn't work. Because this person still wants to go towards somebody else. Yeah, because they see you as the star. You, They see you as the star. Whether you're divine femme, divine masculine. They don't want this other person. So, with that being said, I'm going to jump to my Wizard of Oz cards. Yeah, somebody wants to give you flowers. Divine Femme or Divine Masculine, somebody wants to give you your flowers. Mm, yeah, someone is going to be getting some sort of message about someone being disloyal in a situation. There was some sort of betrayal or disloyalty. Yeah, someone was not on their path. Or somebody was disloyal or did something very underhandedly to get somebody off their path. And then we have an innocent Dorothy here. So somebody was innocent. So someone is getting the message that somebody was innocent. They want to offer somebody some sort of flowers. Love offer. Plus, I'm getting Ace of Cups vibes from this. Yeah, here we go. We have that emperor energy coming through. So we have an emperor and an empress energy, and something is dead, something is over. And then we have the empress in the reverse. So yeah, something is ending with this because of something that this empress in reverse did, which is still that high priestess in reverse energy I'm getting. So somebody could have been married to um, a high priestess in reverse. I was doing some sort of spell work on them. And something is ending. Um, and this masculine energy wants to go towards a divine femme, a, dis a star, someone who actually is um, a divine person. So.
So with that being said, I'm gonna head out my Pink Floyds. And there's some sort of group involvement in a situation as well. So there's that group, <coughs> community support. Oh, well, maybe it's not that they're really being supportive. Mm, okay. So we have a group and then we have somebody who is just in something for resources or has been drained of their resources. And then we have a business deal that could have been done with a feminine or about a feminine and the deal is bad. So there's a group of people who could have made a deal with the feminine energy and they got burned by the deal. Um, or they tried to take resources from a feminine energy and got burnt because they tried to steal from a divine being because somebody is someone's twin flame situation here. And now they want to partner up. They want to, they want you to join the band. What the hell? So there's a group here that tried to, are you serious? This is somebody who could have interfered with some sort of communication. Or there was some sort of communication made to drain some resources from somebody in the same group. It could be the same group. The group, the group that tried to drain the resources from somebody now wants to make a deal after trying to burn this person because somebody is someone's twin flame and they want this person to join the band, a divine feminine energy. They want them to like join the band. Somebody could be pregnant or just pregnant with ideas. Somebody could be um, just like a, like a, an idea factory is what I'm getting. Like someone is very creative. And then we have somebody here and who is out of resources, who who is communicating with a lot of people <clears throat> that they were sleeping with. So there was someone here that was sleeping with a lot of people. They could have drained them for five. Are you serious? So there's a group of people here that sleep with people and drain them like relationship scammer types things where they date people and drain them of their resources for the greater good of a group or something. There was a whole group, but now these people want to work with the person they tried to burn because one of them is the person's twin flame that they tried to burn. Wow. Someone is stuck. Someone's like swimming in quicksand. They can't come towards somebody. Meanwhile, someone's being all resourceful and shit. Shining like the star that they are. How funny is that? <laughs> now y'all want to work together, huh? Now y'all want to be friends. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Someone's watching your family. Divine Femme or Masculine. You're being watched. Your resources are being watched. Wow. I like those late night ones when I'm like, no, I don't want to do another one. Then I'm like, no, I'll just do one more. And then something really fucking crazy comes out. And I'm like, yeah, I'm glad I, I did that. Hmm. I like those ones that have those little twists and turns in there that give you the good little tea bits. Mmm. Man. Yeah. This group that tried to burn somebody, now we, now they, we want to be friends now. Oh, wow. That's interesting. So somebody could be a part of this group, could be going through a divorce or wanting to get a divorce, to hook up with a divine femme, divine masculine. There's a twin flame here, but just because someone's your twin flame, you don't have to be with them, especially if they're doing shady and underhanded shit. Um, someone is saying, I don't want you. Um, someone is saying they gave up their player ways. So someone is saying, I gave up my player ways. Um, you're going to say something. I don't want you. I know you've been with every bed in the fucking county. There's a lot of beds there. Someone slept with a lot of people. Man. You serious? You serious? Someone's guilty. 
or trying to make you look like you were guilty of something. An ex-boyfriend or girlfriend is involved. This came out sideways. Um, I'm multitasking. I bet you are with all those beds. They hacked your accounts. Motherfucker, part of this group, this cult bullshit, man. You missed it, dude. Ma'am, sir, lady. I don't know what the... You missed it. They hired someone to spy on you? Of course they did. Someone's a dark witch or warlock. A group was involved. Hello? What have I been saying? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh my god. Someone's going to tell you I found it again with you. I didn't think I'd find love again. Yes, I've been with all these bitches and hoes, boats and hoes, boats and hoes. But I love you. I want to be with you. Yeah. You already know too much. You, you know. You know this person's all about that life. That life. They say they gave up their player ways, but... <sighs> But you cut them off because you know better. So someone claimed that they found love again with you and you cut their ass off because you knew they were sleeping with every Tom, Dick, and Harry that came around. And that could be man or woman. I'm just saying they they got around. Round, round, get around. I get around, Beach Boys. Um, a relative is involved that came out sideways. Someone had that WAP big package energy or thought that you did. But you're too blessed to be stressed. Someone's getting released from jail. A gold digger? They changed up on you? Someone listened to rumors, so they're going to say that they changed up on you because of something that they heard. You wanted to punch this person. They made life a struggle. Man. This person needs to be honest with themselves, but they're lusting after you. Someone's going to tell you some very important information because someone thinks they have a connection with you. Wow. Yeah, there's a broken contract. Someone's getting divorced so they can hook up with you. This person was arrogant. You were lovers with this person or they have a lover or they want to be lovers. Someone's eavesdropping on you. Someone's watching you like a motherfucker. Relax, it will be all over soon in the reverse. So something ended fairly quickly with this person. It must it must not have lasted too long. Maybe you found out that they were married or something. Um, you need to speak the truth. This person needs to speak the truth. You know they're lying. If you're a star, you already know what the truth is. Someone's gaslighting you. Yeah, you stopped wasting your time because you knew this person was gaslighting you. They had a sex addiction. Then they turned around and started being a spiteful asshole to you. It was fake love. Now they feel all ignored and forgotten. Now they're all sad and crying in their Cheerios and shit. Wow. Tripped and fell in love, didn't ya? Mm-hmm. Better mousetrap. So someone could still be trying to set you up in a mousetrap, or they did try to set a divine being up in a mousetrap. I feel like the trap's not done yet. A penny saved is a penny earned. That's part of the mousetrap, to take every penny you have. That's the scam. They left you licking your wounds. You healed from whatever this is. The burning question. Now all of a sudden they want to be passionate towards you. Now all of a sudden they love you after all this shit. I don't think so, Scooter. I don't know what you got going on. I, I don't know what you got going on here, but I don't think that's going to happen. Sagittarius? Could be significant. A Leo could be significant. Something could have happened during those times. So November 22nd through December 21st could be significant. Or um, Leo is July 23rd through August 22nd. Um, there could be something coming up on a Wednesday with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. That's in the now or near future energy. 
Yeah, but someone's putting on a dog and pony show. Pisces could be significant. Something happened in the last 24 to 48 hours. Someone was putting on a bullshit show. Shocker. Fucking Scorpios, man. No offense, but fucking Scorpios, man. <laughs> God damn y'all. God damn y'all. I have not met one that has not lived up to their name. That's crazy. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah, they sting. They're good at that. Mm -hmm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be significant. A Capricorn could be significant. Something about Friday could be significant. Thought I saw one that was flipped over. You may not have even known this person was in jail. If you haven't talked to him for all... Yeah, I just said that! <gasps> I'm telling you, man. If you... Uh, sometimes it's just... Yeah, if somebody wants to have a clean slate when they get out of jail. You can run, but you can't hide. You lived under the same roof as this person, or they want to live under the same roof as you... Um, in the future or again, so take it how it resonates if you've already been with this person. Yeah, but once been, twice shy, you don't trust this person. Um, something could be happening on a Sunday that's going to add insult to injury. You haven't heard from someone. Someone's a man of few words. Somebody hasn't really been talking a whole lot, but they want a happily ever after with you. They want you to forgive and forget something. Hmm. Wonder if that's the new dude. Maybe the the dark witch, the dark warlock that came out. That could be the high priestess energy in reverse. I know we don't get caught up on the genders and shit, but um, the warlock could be the high priestess. So I mean, it could be, you know, if you're a female, it could be a masculine energy or whatever. Um, cause the emperor came out in the upright. So then, um, you can have this new dude that wants to come back in and give you a happily ever after. Um, but then this one dude wants to get out of jail and they want you to forgive and forget what they did to you, even though they tried to rob you blind <laughs> and possibly worse. Yeah. Karma's a bitch. There's something significant about February. Someone's going to be breathing a sigh of relief. Aries could be significant. You flew the coop. You got the hell out of Dodge because somebody was all talk and no action. A Sagittarius could be significant. You do everything from a labor of love. Mm, somebody could be getting arrested in July or did get arrested in July. This person wants to take something to the next level. Mm, they're going to be coming it says out of the woods but it's like they're going to be coming out of the blue out of the wilderness they're just going to pop up on you and y'all better be careful on popping up on people i'm just going to say it's only a matter of time they um if they haven't been arrested they could be getting arrested someone was dealing with a fine kettle of fish or they still are somebody struck out Three strikes, you're out. Better safe than sorry. You err on the side of caution with shit. Um, like father, like son. So this, one of these people could be the father of your child or it could be a son. You could be the son. You could be the father in this situation. Um, somebody was two peas in a pod. Um, so if you have a son, they could be, they could be just like their father. Um, someone fell off the wagon because they're not moving ahead because they didn't get what they wanted from you they thought something would be like standing stealing candy from a baby and it didn't work because they judged a book by its cover and once again aries and then a long lost love is coming out and someone's going to be pissed off because they're going to be going to court meanwhile someone's rolling over in their grave and one has one foot in the grave <laughs> leo could be significant someone didn't want to see the light <laughs> damn yo Something could be significant about the nighttime. An Aquarius, an honorable Aquarius. There's someone who's as white as a sheet and love is blind. So 
there's some sort of unrequited love situation here. I'm over 30 minutes, of course. All right, gonna pull some letters, person, place, or thing. Z could be significant. E. I. Whoa, I just had one fly out. Um, L. A double I. So I have A I P I E <laughs> L Z. Okay. Um, so I hope this helps, folks. Have a good night.